Okay, a few tips for dimensioning in paper space. Do your dimensioning last. Make sure that you have your title block and that you have your viewport frame centered exactly how it is that you want it to print out before doing any of your dimensions. Once in a while something strange happens. Uh, I'm going to make it happen is this. We dimension in paper space. It looks like it's reaching through to model space for those snaps, but the dimension that we get is clearly, is, well, two, uh, 2 and 13 sixteenths, that's clearly a paper space dimension, that uh, measurement. So if that ever happens to you, type in dim association and make sure that's 2. And it is 2 by default, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem, but occasionally we've run into it. And once that is set, when this dimension goes on, it's clearly now model space dimensions. A uh, few other things. It's very easy to, by accident, uh, unsync your dimension to your to your object and that happens if you don't have your display locked so for example here it just gets pushed over or, or it becomes unsynchronized so to fix that you can always try putting it back but if you need and you do need to have it exact uh, then type in dim region and it will reassociate to the object. And to prevent that, what you should do is just come in here and lock your display and that way you can't tamper accidentally with your zoom in here. And last few things, just make sure that your viewport is on the viewport layer and that it is set not to print. And for this current viewport, we don't want the furniture to uh, display, so we've utilized this current viewport freeze column, and we have frozen the furniture. And that just means exactly what I said, that it won't display in this viewport, but it will, unlike if we turned it off, it would be turned off in every viewport. This just uh, is specific to the viewport. And I think that's it.